in gay marriage. The next step is going to be going to religious people and telling them they have to engage with same-sex weddings. So we made to care. Somebody's going to... A man will come to your house with a gun and he will tell you that if you do not cater this wedding, this wedding... They, they were forced to pay a $175,000 fine for not catering a lesbian wedding. And there's a bakery across the street. You know, they, they, this is, this is, is really nefarious stuff. We are the LGBT movement, and we shall, no matter what, get our way. If you choose to resist our movement, we will come after you. We will threaten your life, and it will be perfectly acceptable behavior to do so. We will threaten your children, and there will be no backlash towards us, no matter how vile. We may even physically hurt you if you disagree with the LGBT. You cannot be objective. You cannot be neutral. You must participate against your will. If you do not do what we want, we will come after your business. We will sue you and we will win. We will boycott and protest and picket, attack, harass, debase, demonize, dehumanize, and destroy those who disagree with us. We will take away your business. We will take away your finances. If you do so much as to donate money to causes that conflict with ours, we will destroy your career and make sure you're unemployable in the future because we will protest whoever hires you. It will not matter how honorable your profession or career has been. You will comply with our demands or we will destroy your livelihood. If you provide any financial support to legislation that we do not agree with, we will protest your business and demand that you also make equal contributions to our cause. We will not leave you alone until you do. It does not matter to us if you're religious. Your religion is bigotry and you should repent. If you choose not to aid and abet our ways and actively participate in activity considered sinful to your religion, you will be attacked. You will be Soon, we will not stop until we destroy your business. We will vilify you and use the most heinous verbiage to describe your thought crimes to make sure that everyone knows how evil you Christians are. We will re-educate you so that you learn. We are right, you are wrong, opinions and religion enable bigotry, and so all freedom of thought and religion must be eradicated to ensure nobody disagrees with the LGBT. We will control your speech. We will choose the words you're allowed to use. If you wish to exercise your First Amendment rights to discuss your values and beliefs, we will disrupt you, scream at you, harass you, and prevent you from your freedom, and it will be okay because LGBT rights supersede everyone else's rights. Even celebrities are not immune. They answer to us as well. If they speak words we do not like, they will have to pay. They will lose endorsements. They will lose their jobs. If they use quotes from people that we do not approve of, they will be bombarded with our anger and forced to recant admiring someone that we do not like. No business is too big, even if you do not actually discriminate against the LGBT community, but support a stance against ours, we will come after you. Any opinions that are in conflict with our opinions, we will work to have your business blacklisted. We will have politicians vow to stop your business from growing in jurisdictions under our control, because politicians answer to us. If politicians refuse to answer to us, we will have them removed. If you try to speak against us, we will use our minions in the media to make sure your voice is not heard. We will ban rhetoric against us. There will be no freedom of speech if that freedom is being used in any way that we do not like. We will not allow any material to exist that is advocating any resistance to our demands. We will have courtrooms overrule the Constitution to make sure that you learn that our agenda supersedes any rights that you used to have. Federal agencies will work on our behalf, and if they have to break the law to do so, then so be it. The ends justify the means. Even the highest courtrooms will warn you that your rights will be no more, and it will fall on deaf ears because no one dares to speak against us. All of our actions are justified. It does not matter how vile we get, the ends justify the means. We are allowed to be totalitarian, and it does not matter if everyone knows it. There is no point in criticizing us because if you do, any point you make will simply be labeled as homophobia and anti-gay hate-mongering. We won't stop until you comply. We will destroy everything to your name, or you'll be thrown in jail. We will use the government to push our agenda against you and your children. Your one concern, though, is that ultimately this will lead to the government forcing gay marriage on synagogues that don't want to have it or mosques that don't want to have it. Yeah, not ultimately, it. like now. In California, they've already passed laws that you have to teach same-sex marriage in public schools. The left has no endpoint. Their only endpoint is using the government as a club against you. So now that they've got gay marriage, it will go to, it will go to 
We're going to stop accrediting schools that don't teach gay marriage or hire homosexual employees. We will use the educational system to do our bidding, to indoctrinate your children with our ideology. We will teach them that homosexuality is good and perfectly normal and natural in every way, and all those who oppose it are evil. Even though, up until modern Western progressivism, homosexuality was considered wrong and immoral by every human civilization that has ever existed, we will teach them that all the other ideologies are wrong. We are right, and your children will be taught that all of history is evil since gays were wrongly persecuted, and they now need to make amends and celebrate homosexuality, even if they don't don't quite understand it because they're just children. You will not be allowed to remove them from our indoctrination. If you object to our indoctrination, we'll even have you arrested because the government, education, and the media and corporations all work for us. We will force your children to express their support for us or they will not be allowed to attain their education. If schools don't choose to push our rhetoric and value their support, we will threaten the funding of their education. We will incentivize students to adopt our rhetoric because they may improve their grades if they do so. They will be forced to read our literature to learn that homosexuality is not immoral, but Christianity is immoral for objecting to it. We will use money from both students and government to promote our agenda because educators have learned that saying no to us will create protests and everyone will know you're a homophobe. So you must comply or you risk to be publicly destroyed. You will give us what we want. You will not be able to keep your children away from us because we will be everywhere. We will brand the foods they eat with our colors. We will change the way they play games until we've surrounded them so much that they give in and accept our ideology over theirs or their parents. There is no escape. Government buildings will fly our colors proudly in recognition that bullying totalitarian fascism still works if done right. Cities and counties will designate us days, weeks, and months solely to celebrate us. Even the White House will not rain red, white, and blue, but rainbow pride. You cannot keep your children away because we control the media as well. We will give them television shows so all know Christianity is horrible. We will make ridiculing Christianity even fashionable. We will not allow any media that portrays members of the LGBT movement negatively because if you do, we will protest, we will boycott, and we will make a scene and let everyone know you're a bigot, because everyone knows that all LGBT are the friendliest, kindest, most caring, witty people on earth, and they shall always be portrayed that way on our screens, and if you don't portray them that way, you will be attacked. We will be celebrated in every form of media for all the good that we do, for we have informed Americans that they need to surrender their civil rights to us. Even our control over the media will be celebrated. We will give members of the LGBT community awards to recognize all the great they do for society. If we receive these awards, over others that may be more deserving, over people that are actually out there helping people in need, you're wrong. Nothing is more important than our cause. So if you try to come and argue otherwise, that supplying 600 million impoverished Africans with solar power is more noble than mental illness, we will have the media attack you and let you know how dumb you are for not agreeing with us. We need these awards because we've been persecuted everywhere we go. We will show you that discrimination and hate towards LGBTs is not a thing of the past, but in the present. If we can't find hateful facts, we will simply make them up, but that's okay, because it's more important that people know that we are the victims than it is to actually tell the truth. And that may not seem like it's wrong. Basquiat Live 2.0. Welcome back. Welcome back. The best is back. You did. Shouts out to Rochi. Shouts out to Jarvis Jones for being the... Uh, the assistant director on this film. You dig what I'm saying? I just wanted to show y'all and give y'all a little di a dialect and a little bit of facts of what's going on in America and, and what's going on with sexuality amongst our people. You understand what I'm saying? And I just want to take a little time and talk about that. Buy Sky Live 2.0. Subscribe now. Like this. Share this. We're going to edit it. We're going to have all the information that you need. To put up on there, you understand what I'm saying? So, I want to um say to all my subscribers and stuff like that, I've been working, been dealing with certain things, and moving around on the earth a little bit. So, I'm back, I'm back in full, we're back in full capacity. I'm gonna give you it's a lot of knowledge that a lot of knowledge that I've done accumulated a lot of studying that I, I done accumulated over the weeks and months and stuff like that. I just want a lot of people to catch up on the videos and certain things that I'm dropping and stuff like that. And shout out to everybody that's commenting and stuff too, man. I read all of them. I reply to all of them. Bosca Live 2.0. Just, just going off the sexuality in humanity right now and the sexuality that's going on heavy in the world right now. And I find myself in the mix of it. 
You dig what I'm saying? I found myself. Like, really had to, like, really hit myself, like, dang, like, 24 hours in a day, that what they say. And a lot of things that you see on TV and a lot of things that you see in the public, it's just like everything is going towards sexuality. And the sexuality boundaries now is like it's oblivious. It's like you seeing transgender people when you see it, you seeing men being with men, men being with men and women being with women and and it's a great abomination to the most high that these things are happening. Remember Solomon and Gamora? Like, every time you pick up your phone, every time you see a commercial, I was laying down one time. I, I was laying down the other day. And, um, I'm watching stars, and, you know, I don't really be watching TV like that, so I just watch movies or whatever like that. So I just let the movies play and whatever like that. I really be, like, up on studying and stuff like that. And... I'm like, I'm turning to every, like, I'm like, one channel, you know, late night, they always show, like, the provocative stuff, the uncut, unseen shit, whatever like that, but it was, like, probably, like, one, two in the afternoon or something like that, and I, you know, I just, I just took a little break just from doing what I'm doing, whatever like that, and I'm just turning the channel and stuff like that, and everything I'm seeing on channels and everything that I'm seeing, like, on movies and stuff like that, television shows, cartoons, games, and the whole night is like everything towards a sexual agenda. It's like they want you to stay like in a sexual mind frame and always think about sexual things and stuff like that. And I, this me being the thinker with the most high made me a thinker. And for me, just really being late on a lot of videos that I've been supposed to be posting, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to shoot another video tonight. So y'all gonna get this video, then y'all gonna get another one. Then the next day y'all gonna get a, another one. You did? They said, my father said, my real father, he said, Bud, that's my nickname. He said, he said one of the realest things that I ever heard. That's little job of his grandfather, the way he went, system producer be moving. Shout out to Rocha though. <laughs> he said, I said to him, just going back and forth with him with different doctrines of religion and how religion be, be so big, but so much corruption in it. And I was like, if we live, if we live the lies, it's time to die for truth. If you live a lie, then it's time to die for truth. And the truth may hurt, and the truth may sound weird. And a lot of people that's been following me for over a few months and stuff like that, y'all starting to look into certain things like, dang, and and and, and like. That boy getting his speech up. You hear me? That boy sound a little bit more prophetic. There's any either here or there. But everything don't have to be so sexual. Everything, everything in America is so sexual, and everything in the world is so sexual that a woman can't even be in a place of business where I get harassed by employees and people that come in. They can't even go about their life. Without being harassed about men, being harassed by men every second, every minute, every hour. How many minutes are we in, Roach? Yeah, 13. Huh? 13. Good, great. That's great. I got five more minutes in me. We're going to have to do a part two. Go do, want to do a part two? Yeah, because I'm going to run out of video space. So we're That's what's up. We're going to do a part two. And that's for Roachy. So y'all know I'm going to be playing. Roachy said we're going to do a part two of this. Because this is a big topic, and this is a topic that the most high wanted me to share with y'all. Get your mind off of sexuality. Get your mind off of all the things that will damage you. So it's going to be like a three video night right now. Because we're going to do this video, we're going to do a part two, and I'm going to do another one. Speaking about the mind and how you can accumulate a lot of wealth just by using the gold mine. But why everything have to be sexual? Every cartoon, even like certain things my nieces and nephews be watching, or they friends and stuff like that, and they peers. It's like, damn, like, it's, it's mind blowing. Start taking your children, and you start teaching them. Before it was teachers, it was you. Before it was teachers, it was the parents teaching their sons and daughters how to conduct themselves. How to carry themselves, how to live, how to support, how to be a man, how to be a woman, and how to be 
a righteous person, period. If you take away all the scriptures and everything, just everything living in natural ability in the animal kingdom, you don't see lions being with lions and stuff like that. You don't see elephants being with the, you know what I mean? You see, you see everything in balance and everything is in its rightful place and in its origin so it can live up. So I really just showed this video in the beginning so we get a good thumbnail. Good, good thumbnail. And we could show you by facts, not just really by, okay, what Boscow is saying, just by what's really facts and what's going on in the legislation, in the legislation and in the Congress and all in these big political places and stuff like that with laws and rules and rights and stuff being passed. Like, it's crazy. Like, they even having bathroom stalls and stuff like that where transgenders could go in there with your children. It don't really matter. It don't what? It don't really matter. It don't what? It don't matter. Why it don't matter, Roach? Because either way, you have a penis or you have a vagina. Either way is what? You have a penis or you have a vagina. So that, them two don't mix? Either you're a man or you're a woman. Either you're what? A man or a woman. Either you're a man or you're a woman. In all species and... and and our dialects and species of life. That either you this 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 gene or that gene. And then and it, and if it was the same gene and it, if, see one thing about everything, they want you to live and love what they fucking love. Listen, no no man had you. So you don't have to go in the conducts of a system or of a man that been corrupted from the background, what you see in the front. That shit ain't right. It's not right that a woman and a woman raise a daughter and a man and a man raise a, a son. Where is this society is going? Have your son and have your daughter think for themselves. Have your what? Your son or your daughter think for themselves. Think for themselves. This is Basquiat Live 2.0. A little rusty. I ain't been here for a little minute, man. Rose been, you know what I mean? Rose been working. I've been working. We've been getting right, mind, spiritually, and physically. You understand what I'm saying? And we just want to try to catch up with it. And Roach was like, let me just let him catch up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to do different things and so different visuals. We're trying to, we're trying to invest in the camera, right, Roach? Yeah. We're trying to get a nice camera. So you said you said you seen it at Best Buy? Yeah, about. See, you, you share with the people. Talk to them. Yeah, about 260. Um, Pretty good camera. Okay. Pretty good camera. We're about to part two. I'm about to wrap this up. I'm about to wrap this up with two scriptures. Genesis chapter 19. Solomon has become associated with homosexuality. Yes, he got school. Conduct that his name was for many ears are byword for it. But is Sodom really what Sodom is to become? Let me say that again. Genesis 19. Sodom has become so associated with homosexuality. Conduct that is named for that many ears and by words for it. But is Sodom really what Sodom is about? That's Genesis chapter 19. Check out, check out that scripture. Um, Leviticus 8, 18 and 20. So chapter 18. I mean, yeah, chapter 18, verse 20. And it said, You shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. If a man lies with a man and with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination that shall surely be put to death. That shall be surely be put to death. To death, their blood is amongst them. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Are these scriptures that the most high of this creation, of this world, this universe, says that's not right. And without the scriptures, you can see in nationality, that's not right. So quit teaching your children and monitor what your children and what your people is watching and really giving to their vision. This is Boss Scott Live 2.0. We're going to come with a part two. Holler at me. I'm back. You understand what I'm saying? My email is nola16east at gmail.com. nola16east 
at gmail.com. N-O-L-A-16 East E-A-S-T at gmail.com. And part two on the way of the sexuality mind frame of humanity and of our people that have to stop and how you can fix it.